Hi guys, UTM is what I've been this now for a while now, and your UTM score will determine your next line of action. Now, in this video, I'll be sharing with you some of my two cents on what your next line of action should be based on your UTM result. Hi guys, my name is Pelumi, also known as Kenst. I'm a second year medical student of the University of Ibadan. I post educational content and contents about the development. So if you are up for that, kindly hit the subscribe button. Without further ado, let's get to the video. Now, the first part we are just seeing are those with high scores. For those with high scores, it's very important for you to take note that you having high score in UTME does not guarantee your admission. What it does is just increase your chance of actually gaining admission. But it doesn't guarantee it yet. You still have your post UTME, you have your own level results to that will basically back up the UTM result. So take note of that and if you have this at the back of your mind, it will push you for that to actually keep on preparing for your post UTME and keep preparing until you actually gain the admission. Also, it's very important that you start your preparation very early. Now, starting preparation early, we give you the privilege of actually covering the syllabus thoroughly. You'll be able to go over each of these topics at your own pace. Compared to you starting your preparation very late and then you have to rush through all the topics. So start the preparation, preparation for your post UTME very early. For those that will still be writing their whole levels, your WAEC, your NECO, make sure that you prepare very well for those as well too because they actually have a part to take in your admissions process. So make sure you start your preparation very early so that you'll be able to um, take your time and actually understanding the concept. In the, so actually take your time to actually understand the concept for concerning each topic in all the all your subject combinations. Another thing to do is join brainstorming groups, brainstorming WhatsApp groups or poly telegram groups. There are a lot of groups going around created by your fellow aspirants or created by certain tutorials. Make sure that you join all those brainstorming groups. Now join those brainstorming group will give you the privilege of actually coming across lightly questions. You'll be able to solve questions and sometimes when you have issues with a particular question you can easily send it to the group and they will be able to provide answer for you with proper explanation and aside that you going through the um you join a brainstorming group who there'll be a lot of questions that will be treated in that in the group that will be that will most likely be asked in your exam or take notes also remember that most of these questions that you are going to do in during your post me are all past questions now they might not be word for word but then they are let's say you have a question the part for particular question is on the on a particular aspect of the topic the basically what they just do in the post is just rephrase it but then the concepts behind it is still the same so if you join the brainstorming group and someone is able to answer the question and then provide a reasonable explanation for that question there is a high probability that when you get into the exam or you'll be able to answer that question properly also I would advise that you join groups. Now, not just brainstorming group now. There are certain groups that are created by your fellow aspirants. That just for you to just get to know each other and just communicate more. I would advise you to actually join those kind of groups because joining those kind of groups will give you an idea of your fighting chance or your odds of actually getting admission. Because in that group, you have different people applying for the same course and applying to the same university as yourself. Now, those, you have an idea about their scores, like the average score will give you an idea okay let's say you have 300 you have 302 and like close like almost like 50 percent of the people in that group let's say like 100 people in that group have like close like 330 then you already know that oh your your odd of getting admission for letting medicine is lower now but then you have to mix it up you have to you have to fill that gap up with your own proper thorough preparation and having the eyes on your position. So that's basically what those groups do. It just gives you an idea of your heart and then you'll be able to interact with other people and you will know that it gives you an idea that we find that there are other people out there better than yourself and the only way you can actually meet up with them is by putting in the hard work and the smart work. I make a, I will make myself an example. In 2015, when I initially wrote my first UTME, I didn't have a phone. I, there was no WhatsApp group. I didn't join any WhatsApp group. I had 200 and something, 229 then. Um, I was feeling like a boss because I had I asked called that my cousin. But and I was thinking, okay, I'm coming to you like to tell me to come and wow, I'm bad there or messing short and 
What I didn't know was there, there were other people that had 290, 270 that were also applying for the same course as myself. So I thought maybe with my score, with that low score, my chances were very, very great. But then, you and know, I didn't get ambition because there were other people that were ahead of me. And in 2018, I, when I was preparing for UTME, I, after I got my UTME, I had 302. And then I had a phone. So I had the privilege of actually joining a group. And I joined that group, I had an idea about what other, people, other people's scores are. So I knew, I knew that, okay, I had to put in the effort. Then I prepared very well, and I had very high score in the UTME as well. Too. So I'm just using myself as an example that, of the importance of actually joining groups created by your fellow aspirants. Another thing that can, ever, that can never be overemphasized is practice questions. Practice questions. As I said before, that most of the questions that you'll be asked in your exam of are basically past questions. I can confidently say that most of the questions that you'll be asked will be from past questions. So just make sure that you take your time to actually solve past questions. And I will just give you, an, I will just give you uh, a tip or or a guide on actually how to actually solve the past question. Now, what I would advise you to do is bring out, after reading a particular topic, bring out questions on that topic from past questions. Solve them thoroughly. Now, when I mean solve them, I don't mean like you solve them, if you get it, okay, that's all. Now, I mean you solve them, you check the answer. If you get the answer right, you just check for the explanation. Take your past question now. You, so, you go over the question, you solve it. You check whether the answer is right at the back of the PQ. Better still, check the answer in your textbook. Now, why I tell you you should check the answer at the back of your PQ? Because there are some that are actually calculation questions to correlate the answers with that of your textbook. Now, that's what I mean by practice question. Not just you solving it, getting it home, uh, I got it right, and you move time, or I got it wrong. Uh, I mean, like you bring out each of those questions, you go by it, you go over, you correlate them, you find an explanation, a reasonable explanation for the answer provided or what the answer really is. And if you're unable to, if you don't get the question, you go over your textbook, you go to your textbook, you go over the diary of the topic, and then you go back to the past question and then try to solve it. So that's what I mean by practicing past question. Another thing to do is pray. I pray. There are a lot of uh, aspirants out there with higher score than yourself. A lot of them way more brilliant than yourself. But what usually distinguish those that are usually gain admission from those that are not usually gain admission is, is grace. And the way you can get the grace is by way by prayer. So make sure that you first thing you do is hard work and smart work and then you add prayers in order to get the grace of God. So that's that for all those with high scores. Now for those with low score, now the first thing you should do the moment is you, you come across as well, you seek counseling. Now, counseling in the sense that you really need to know how much fighting chance your UTME score is giving you. So, you ask people around. I will drop my contacts below in the description of the video so you can reach, reach out to me and I will definitely advise you on, on which course you can change to or which institution you can change to. So, you seek counseling on which institution or which course you can also change to that is still okay by yourself. Now, if you don't feel like changing, no problem. There's still another option for you. But then, if you you don't mind changing, then you can change to the recommended or to the yeah, to the recommended institution or course. Now, after that, you make sure you start your preparation very early. And and the problem should be hundred times harder than those with high scores. Anytime you notice that okay, someone with high score is reading for six hours, you should read for like. 12 hours, I don't know whether it's, that's possible, it's actually possible, but then you should, you get the point. The point is, when those with high scores are doing like one, are doing 100%, you should do 200%. So you make sure that your preparation is like double of those with high scores. And then you can now follow every single thing I said to those with high scores above. Now, if you are the one that you don't want to change, if you don't want to change your course, now there are a lot of options available for you. Now, one of these options is you going for A-levels. Now, you have to start of A-levels, you have the Cambridge A-level and then you have the Jupeb. Now, UI only accepts Cambridge A-level. So, if you do Jupeb and you are trying to apply to UI with Jupeb, it's not possible. So, Jupeb is really accepted by Unilorin, OAU, Bowen and the rest. So, take note of that. Don't let anybody bamboozle you or probably scam you. If it is UI you want that you are trying to apply to, you have to do Cambridge A levels. And Cambridge A levels is usually more expensive than Jupeb A levels. And then for Jupeb, yeah. And 
for the Cambridge level and the um, and the Jupeb A level, you'll be doing three subjects. And then you really, really need to prepare very well. If I apply for a course like um, medicine, you should always be targeting like 16 points in your Cambridge level in UI. Just target it, even though it might be the cutoff might be lower later on, but then just make sure you target 16. Anytime you're trying to prepare for any exam, make sure you, you target the highest peak. Now, targeting the highest peak will. If you target the ISP, let's say Preventure it didn't work out, you still fall down to a comfortable area. But better you targeting like 90 and if you drop, 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 you drop like 70 now or 80. That's not, but if you target like 100, last time you drop like 95 or 90. I hope you get. So that's another option for you. You can apply using uh, A levels. And if you apply using A level, you still, you and the person that is getting admission this year, will still be in the same class. So it's still no no there is no loss. So just go go over this video and then be able to make your decision yourself. So I hope to see you guys in the in the next feature. You can reach out to me if you need any help or any assistance. And if you like this video kindly hit the like button. If I even anybody that wrote you to me, you should kindly share this video with them. And if you need to channel welcome welcome I didn't even welcome you welcome and can you hit the subscribe button so you get more content so see you guys in the next video